tick-borne diseases are on the rise. And as we gear up for another beautiful summer, it's crucial to be aware of some tiny yet significant threats, ticks, and the diseases they carry. I'm Dr. Will, a licensed pharmacist with a doctorate in pharmacy. Today, I'll share vital information on how to stay safe from tick-borne diseases. Just the other day, a lady in her 30s approached me at the pharmacy council window asking for fever relief. After a few questions, she revealed she had been hiking with her kids and hadn't felt well since. To help stay prepared in situations like this, I'm giving away a digital thermometer, a pulse oximeter, and a blood pressure monitor to the 100th subscriber. In other words, if you're number 100, you get this set. If you're number 200, 300, 400, etc., you'll each get a set. I have about 10 of them to give away. So make sure to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Offer is only valid for 30 days. 2024 is expected to see more ticks than 2023. With warmer temperatures driven by climate change, ticks are emerging earlier and staying active longer. Ticks are small, flat, and oval, ranging in size from a grain of sand to a sesame seed. In the US, the most common ticks are the black-legged tick, lone star tick, and American dog tick. They can transmit diseases such as Lyme disease, which can result in Rocky Mountain spotted fever, babesiosis, rickettsia, and Powassan virus, which can cause inflammation and infections of the brain. Lyme disease caused by Borrelia burgdorferi is the most common tick-borne illness, with over 36,000 cases reported annually. Early symptoms include fever, headache, fatigue, and a bull's eye rash. If untreated, it can lead to severe complications. Babesiosis, caused by Babesia microti, is on the rise in New England. While many people are asymptomatic, severe cases can lead to kidney failure or even death, especially in older adults and immunocompromised individuals. Preventing tick bites is the best way to avoid Lyme disease. Here are some essential tips. Wear protective clothing, long sleeves and pants, and choose light color fabrics to spot ticks easier. Use tick repellents, DEET for skin, or oil lemon eucalyptus, and permethrin for clothing. Make sure you stay on trails, avoid tall grasses and bushy areas. Make sure to perform tick checks after outdoor activities on yourself, pets, and gear. You can also dry your clothes on high heat for 10 minutes in order to kill the ticks. Now, if you find a tick biting on your skin, remove it with a fine tipped tweezer. Clean the area with alcohol and seek medical attention if symptoms develop. Early diagnosis and treatment with antibiotics like doxycycline are crucial. Tick-borne diseases can be treated if caught early. If you suspect a tick bite and start experiencing flu-like symptoms, see a doctor immediately. Like the lady that approached me in the pharmacy, she went to her doctor right away. He prescribed her a round of doxycycline and Tylenol to reduce her fever. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video to stay updated on more health tips.